Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called binary tree right side view. So in this problem we have been given one binary tree and we need to print the right side um, of the node. So let's try to understand from the whiteboard thing. So let's say I am having this binary tree 1 to 5 and then 7 and then 3 here and this is 2 and let's say 7 so if person is standing here on the right side and this guy uh, will see only this right side view right so only this right side view means it will see 1 5 7 and 3 right so it will print all these four uh, the output would be 1 5 7 3 so this will be the output let's consider another example so another example is let's say uh, again let's say the black color 1 2 5 9 right 1 2 7 and let's say 3 here and uh, let's say again the person is standing on the right side right and this uh, right side person that it will see on the right right side so right side uh, what are the what it will cover it will see one five nine and it will see three as well because three is there is nothing here it's null right uh, under nine there is no children so it will just see the three itself so the output would be what one five nine and three <clears throat> right so when I say the right side, it really does not mean literally right side, right side, but it it just you can consider this as a edge case, right? So there is nothing in the right side. So this another left child that's also will be under the visibility of this right side itself, right? If there is a if let's say I I say the hypothetically it's eleven here itself, right? Then my output would be not three, but it would be eleven, right? So it really depends like what kind of the tree we are getting. But uh, to simplify this problem is basically whatever on the right side we need to collect that Collect those nodes basically on the right side of the tree All right, so this is uh, the problem now how we will solve this problem Yes, uh, we can definitely uh, use recursion as well, right? So in the recursion basically in most of the problems we can start with left right but in this problem because we have been uh, given this problem and we are asking we are getting asked to get the right side of the children so we can start from right and then left so basically we will start traversing from the right side and we need to put some logic in and uh, as per that logic basically we can just decide that uh, every time our list will containing only the right side children but not the left side so let's uh, quickly uh, create one placeholder and then we will go from there and we will just try to understand the logic later on okay so let's say uh, I'm having recursion. I'm having one method called recursion. And in this recursion, private void recursion. And let's say I'm having this uh, output list as well. So list integer. This is result and then new array list. Right, and then the result, and then this uh, recursion method will fill this result list, and then we will just return the result list itself. Right? Let's say this. If your root is null then basically return and this will be some logic right so this if condition is like some logic we will put here right and this logic will make sure uh, to collect only like right children I'm just creating the placeholder for now so let's say this recursion and we need to go right hand side first because we want to collect the 
right side children right and then result similarly let's go let's do the same thing for the left side okay so this is just a placeholder right this is the basic uh, like platform on top of that we can just fill this logic now let's try to understand that which logic we can talk about right let's first of all clear this board okay and then let's take uh, another smaller example let's say 5 and then let's say this is 3 so in this case uh, our result would be uh, 1 5 1 5 and then 3 right this is our result now let's see uh, if, if I go in the from the right side first let's say I am having this label label 1 label 2 and I initialize my label uh, with 1 right and if I take any additional uh, variable that's let's called height or edge and that edge is initially is 0 so in the recursion process if edge is 0 basically and 0 is if I put this condition if edge is less than L right and if edge is less than L, then collect that. And if edge is not less than L, then don't collect it, right? So if edge is less than L, basically, then I will collect like this one. And I will assign edge as L. So edge initially is zero, label initially is one. So I will assign edge as a one, right? And then move forward to the next level. That next level is two. And then I will collect this as well because one is less than two, right? So one is less than height is less than level, right? H is less than level. So I will collect five as well. Then basically I will make height as a two, H as a two, right? Then I will go back from the recursion. So this, uh, what's going to happen in that case? This label two is getting popped up from the recursion stack, and I will move to the this. Uh, uh, label uh, this root and this root is the root node root node and in this root node my label value was one right and if I go to the left hand side then what's going to happen I will be again increasing this label so in this case label will be two so one plus one is two right if I'm increasing this label as a two on this node right then my height is still edge is still two right so edge is still two means it's not less than but it's equal to so it's not going to add two here right in my output list so this is my output list right so let's say this is output and now it will again go and then it will become l is 3 my height is h is less than 3 so in that case i will collect 3 and i will my h will become again 3 right for the consecutive operations so if you see the pattern here if i take the label and if I take edge or height, another variable, global variable, then in that case, uh, basically, I can just uh, use these operations and then I can just uh, make sure that it's uh, going to uh, solve my purpose. And the reason is going to solve this purpose is because, uh, because of this logic that I'm applying, right? So this lay, uh, height, that, uh, that will be the global variable, right? So global variable would still be less than label so that's why i'm just collecting in my output but uh, in case of label in case of label because it's using in the recursion right so for example if i am using the different color let's say i'm using the blue color right so in the blue color if uh, this uh, blue color l is 2 and it's getting out from the recursion and then the next level it will go to the previous node and then in this previous node this uh, label would uh, become 1 in this case right and if uh, label would become one, then basically I will just consider uh, for the left traversal, basically I will just increase this uh, label one to the next level and that is two, right? So that's what I will do. So uh, here basically I am just uh, using the properties of recursion and another property is basically I am just using of another global variable that's called edge here. But once I uh, quickly code it, then I think it, it may make more sense so let's say this is h and this logic that i was talking about if h is less than l or let's say label and let's assign this label as a one and uh, let's say int label and every time while i'm doing to the to the recursion i can just uh, increase this label plus one similarly here label plus one and once this edge is less than label 
then I can do this result dot add and then I can just do this thing right so res dot add is root dot well and uh, after doing this I can just do this h equals label right so for the next iteration I can just make sure that every time I am just reassigning h <coughs> one step behind the label itself so that once I will come back from the recursion I can just make sure that I am not adding it again or if it is on the same label I am not adding it again so if you will observe this pattern like uh, let's use the black color if we will go to the left side the label if it is becomes two but global variable be already become added as a three or the more more than two right then we are not going to add at the same label again but it is a different label then we are going to add it definitely because it will be on the right side right side means for this person right if person is standing here then for this person basically it will be on the right side right so this the right side view for this person if it is standing on the right right hand side <coughs> all right so uh, uh, quickly checking for the time complexity in space complexity it would be n and space complexity would also be n for the skew tree in worst case right and uh, log n or h in average case right so worst case we consider like if it is a skewed tree a skewed tree means it's the flat tree right means uh, when i say the skewed tree it means uh, there is some tree that's called like this 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 they don't have any uh, let's say zero one three right so this is called a skewed tree they are having only one side of the children so in that case a space will go till all the nodes so that's the worst case but in the average case it will be the height of the tree or log n and space to time complexity we are iterating each and every node so it will be definitely order of n let's quickly check for the syntax errors if there is any and if there is not then let's try to submit this code so yeah looks like this is working fine so hopefully this is uh, this might be helpful but just a quick reca recap and quick summary is basically in this problem first of all we just need to make sure that we are traversing the right first but not the left because we are we have to collect our right hand side and another important point is to think about come up with the logic right so the logic would be like uh, we are just going label wise label and we just need to make sure that we are assigning our label as a one why why label as a one because we want to put this logic this is the important logic that this global variable is less than label right and if it is less than label then only we are adding into our result list right so that we can make sure that if it is on the same label we are not adding it again because the because in the recursion it just go back to the parent label after coming back to the recursion right so five will go to the one and then label two will be popped out from the recursion stack and then it will just go to the root and then uh, again label one will be popped out from the recursion stack and the label will be one and then uh, after going to the left basically this label will be incremented right so the label one one will be incremented to the label two here on the left hand side but it will be checked against the h value so h is global so that it's it's not going to change label is going to change because it's in the recursion right so from because of recursion its value is going to change at every level right whether it will be increasing or it will be popping out from the recursion stack based on the recursion but it is the global h is the global variable so this value will be constant it's not going to change it will only be increasing but it will not be going back uh, from the recursion stack because of the recursion because it's h if you see it's the global variable it's not in the recursion right so we are just using the stable value here and that's the benefit here is h is less than l so h will not be less than l in this case so 2 will not be going to add but this 3 because l is 3 and then h is less than l then it this guy is going to add again here right so in this particular case when i was explaining about 2 in that case h was 2 so h should be less than l right h should be less than label so in case of 3 h was 2 in that case and then it going to add and then again we are assigning h as a 3 for the consecutive operations but till that time we have already collected as a result uh, this node as a result right so hopefully uh, this concept is clear if this concept is clear then i think we should be good and thanks a lot for watching have a good one bye